Trash Talks. I'm glad to have you here. So let's get to it, shall we? There's two different types of cal kits that you can use with the Mini 1300. There's the factory cal kit that comes with it, which has, instead of a dead short, it has a 5 ohm low impedance. It has, instead of an open, it has a 300 ohm high impedance and it's standard broadband impedance at 50 ohms, which is typically what we're testing towards. Uh, the other option that you can use is you can use an actual open, in, which in this case is taking any connector and just cutting the end off of it. We'll get a nice close up of this in a bit. And an actual short and an actual 50 ohm load. But for now, what we're going to be doing is putting together the factory cal kit. There are pluses and minuses to both of them. All right, let's get to it. All right, that's one done, but they're surface mount and they're tiny. First one. And let's try it this way. That's our low impedance. This one. our high impedance. All right, that's the three of them done. We can always take them over to the network analyzer, a professional quality one, and see how well they work. Let's do that. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is testing our open, short, and load that we just built. But before we do that, we have to calibrate our network analyzer. In this case, we're using professional grade open, short, and broadband load to do so. We'll start with an open. We're going to go to Cal. Calibrate, one port Cal, and select open. Next to the short. And then finally, to the broadband load. This is a 50 ohm termination. Now these are designed to work all the way up to 18 plus gigahertz. When we're done, we press done, and now we're good to go. Now an interesting thing that you can see is if you switch to Smith chart, you can see a tiny little spot right in the middle. That's your 50 ohm termination. That's right in the middle of the chart. Anything that falls to this side is going to be closer to a short, lower impedance. Anything that falls to this side is going to be an open, higher impedance. And you also have the ability to look at this imaginary. Okay. 
capacitance, inductance, and anything else. So let's test it. Let's look at an open. As you'll notice that your open is rolling this way. Your short should be the exact opposite to this. Let's take a look and see what these little guys look like. First, we're going to look at that 50 ohm termination that we made. And let's see just how well this does relative to a perfect one. Well, as you can see, it's not perfect. It starts out at 50 ohms, but then it slowly starts to roll out the marker on here we can roll through and there we go see what it's really doing let's change my format to that so that I can see the capacitance and the inductance and you can see that we're going capacitive at this point, which is to be expected. And if we look at this in log magnitude again, you'll see that it's really not a perfect termination much past, let's find out, much past about 1.4 gigahertz. Let's take a look at this open, see what it looks like in Smith chart. It's definitely a nice high impedance. As we go lower in frequency, you can see that it starts out right around 300 ohms. So, so right there. So now let's look at that short, which should be 5 ohms. Now the convenience of this is that you actually, at very low frequencies, which is where the Mini 1300 operates, these give you an actual impedance reference rather than just it's an open, it's a short. And at the same point, you'll see that we're sitting right at 5 ohms. But you can also see the roll as it happens. All right, so they check out fine and they're good to about 1.4 gigahertz, which is all we really need. The Mini 1300 only goes up to 1.3 gigahertz. Cheers.